did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? I haven't actually seen it yet. They've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. You should come stay with me. I'll think about it. Dropped your pen. That's not... You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> making the round soon. Doctor? What doctor? I want my all oh, electrum in the cell. Alright, let's check this one out. The rest of the cot. Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Hmm. Alright. Ah, uh, shit. Must be for just being giving the beats tough. Penguin, which is worth it. It's an offset. It was worth it. He asked me for my own company, and fucked the board too. So I'm glad I gave him on the beats. Catch these hands. Looks like someone was angry. Lovely. Uh, just put my clothes, what is it? Oh, clothes on. Jumpsuit. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. Oh, I'm Arkham Asylum. Shit. The very, the very place I want to tear down. This can't be real. Thing you need? Water, piss, rat poison? Fucking asshole. I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course I could no, I have make rights. an exception for you. My right to a lawyer. I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were revoked. What? Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. Rights don't expire, dipshit. You're not buying your way out this time. You there. might as well get comfortable. This is your oh. home now. Time to meet your neighbors. Oh, 
Oh, uh, you're so you're an asshole, corrupt fuck, and a fat. As you fuck. were. Always. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here, left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. Just yeah, yeah, see what I do. Look so to tough. You. Bring it. Go on, man. Hit me. Don't get cocky, Wayne. It is Joker. Buddy. Here by the voice. Oh, buddy. Hey, skin. Are you okay? You don't look so grand. More like the opposite. What would that be? Nah, Batman. They were Poor, just... perhaps. I'm fine. Just some bruises. Alright. Tough guy. Nice. What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The, the new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. Uh, you know what? He, he, he went out of his way to help me. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. We have a very strict no fighting policy here in Arkham. That's what I'm If you can't on. obey that rule, you're going to find yourself in hot water fast. This is not hot water. The orderly in Arkham? was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement. Okay, did you just hear what I said? They go on the corrupt guard. I didn't expect it to happen this. so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. And not take on the corrupt assholes. Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. And don't worry. I'm always careful. And you seem to be able to defend yourself quite well. Still, better to play it safe. You were lucky help came so quickly. <laughs> I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way. Head despite of psychiatry. Who, who, I'll be overseeing your case personally. Uh, despite who he is, I, we'll get you transferred I, to a I, new I room, Bruce. Curse, dude, one that doesn't have your way to help me. blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's, there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! <laughs> Good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, I know how to get the fuck out of here. Every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! <laughs> gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. Time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? 
How could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well. <laughs> oh, no, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me. You don't know the president. <laughs> They don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this. Stop. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. I'm gonna take good care of him. Welcome to Arkham Asylum! <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit. You know, prone to outbursts of violence. I ain't scared. I can handle myself. Oh, I know you can. But let's save that for later. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! The remote. One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Oh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? Okay, what's this guy's business walking about? That's the way the cookie crumbles. Cookie, cookie crumbs. That's it. <laughs> yes, I cracked. There we go. You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off. All right. No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. Uh, okay, well, what's, what's this guy? Oh, yeah, this guy is sock puppet. Aaron, I'm not. Arnold. Hello. Hello. Go away. Arnold's busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. That's how we Can got you tell me about uh, John Doe? John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Want to know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with green hair would be mm, pretty no goddamn memorable, right? But yeah. Nothing. Oh shit, I'm close to <laughs> uh, can I ask for the key? No one. Any idea what this opens? Did John give you that key? Uh, it's floating. Not this again. Wait, not what again? Nothing. Just go away. I'm busy here. You heard him. Beat it. Ah, uh, a glitch. I was in St. Louis. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. No, it's like I'm not, get, uh, I'm not crazy, I just gave Penguin the beats. Uh, sure. Uh, let's see what. 
Hey there, buddy boy. You miss me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? Yeah. Why? Why? No reason. He cheats. Every time, he cheats. Sees what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater! I told you, if I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. Uh, bald. That wasn't me. That's a bunch of. Oh, Zaz. <laughs> I thought we had to I have to guess. This is a new Zaz. Uh, well, let's talk to Zaz. Oh, he's not a homo in a homicidal mood. Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style. Hmm, Alright, he likes me. No. Uh, I think, you know what, I think he's, I guess, sane enough to tell me, to tell me about John. Guy I walked in Joker with, with, what can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah, why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic, unpredictable. Not speaking as a, <clears throat> as a professional. I find his work a bit sloppy, but he's certainly enthusiastic, I'll give him that Doctor says that. What do you want? Mm, let's ask him. Let's ask him about the key. Any idea what this opens? How the hell should I know? Get that thing away from me! I don't want any trouble with the orderlies. Uh, if I can get one last question in, let's see. What do you want? Uh, scars. So what's the deal with that? Well. This one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. So this is your killer. Uh, and look, I'm not gonna give him the key though. Sorry, I can't talk right. Uh, no, definitely not gonna get the key. I don't wanna be in trouble. I don't wanna be in solitary. <laughs> oh shit! Batman really did a number of them. No. Uh, I can pop it. Eh, kind of creepy, but I wanna see where this leads. Nice Let's trick. See. Listen, pal. And he doesn't need bullies like you making his recovery shit. harder. So unless you have something important to say. Get lost! But he actually gave you the highlight of your whole entire day. Now you should be an asshole. Uh, let's use the key. That looks good. It doesn't work there. Key. Not the right key for this. Uh, I think it's the last sort. The gate. Hmm. Well, this key doesn't fit. What the hell is it for? Ah, oh, shit. Is that it? Uh, let's look, let's look through the gate. Let's see what they're out there to find a way to get me out of here. Oh, shit. It's a phone right there. At my grass. Yeah, uh, you know what? If, I, if the key couldn't uh, uh, fit, why? Last resort. Uh, let's, let's try to. Ah, shit. 
All right. Knock. Hey, uh, I was wondering about. It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't. It's not time for meds either. Beat it. Oh, fucking asshole. Suck John. Your key didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. Oh, give me a Dutch they key. stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local sky train depot. No, I did that. Politicians <laughs> usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one, has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. <laughs> I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Mm. Oh, well. You had a good run, run, right? You was to. my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on our frame page versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Ah, oh, oh my god! Won't someone save my baby? Lady Arkham is dangerous. Way more dangerous than you think. Oh, I know a bit about Lady Arkham. Let me tell you. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. Oh, you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge, just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot. Hell yeah. Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Tell me, tell me you know I'd love to see that. Or John, whatever. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. Cops and dragged you off of him. That cobblepot uh, punk would be dead. Technically, it wasn't drugs. It wasn't me. It was just pump full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling. What's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad. Help. Bump off her parents! Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? Shit. You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Shh. 
Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. I'm not like, I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... <sighs> Assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Uh, Just get the Joker. One. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between? You know what? I got no choice. I don't want to be stuck in here forever. So sure, one favor that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. All right, tell you what. I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz! Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Oh. Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. This skin feels like it's itching, burning. Need to, need to get rid of it. Stop! Someone, give me a sedative. Run, Brucey, run! <laughs> You know what? I need to get out of here. Go <laughs> <laughs> <Your> security! <laughs> uh, you know Jim doesn't want me to favor. GCBD. Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. Uh, this might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now, and Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have to go. <laughs> oh, Bruce, I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite the show. Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. Doctor, I swear to you, I was not involved in any of this. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Yeah. 
Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Alfred. Nice. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. Of I'm safer too. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true, but I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. And this is ain't it. I'm afraid it's Not out of your way. hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it... Certainly hasn't gotten any better. It's Batman. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. They're only dangerous because you made them dangerous. Armed guards on every street corner? It's insane, Harvey. I beg to differ. With the children of Arkham sneaking around everywhere, those armed guards are the only thing keeping people safe. Maybe you haven't heard. But the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened. That Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. You're pathetic, You're pathetic Harvey. Not even mayor for a week, and already the pressure's gotten to you. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. What's it all about? A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend. Wouldn't have done that. She's her own person. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? Uh, checkpoint. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. 
Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Got a warrant, bitch? I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Oh, fascist. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should've known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing oh, your gosh. face in public like this? Not real smart! I want trouble. I'm tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over, and then back- Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, oh, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded. Hmm? Oh. Well-armed? It's a bribe. What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Back up! Back up, people! Bruce! Hey! Yeah, Your father committed trouble. innocent Fuck people it. to Arkham and make sure they stay there for the rest of Here! It's everything I have, okay? Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. What do you mean, you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's you're clearly leaving? lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? Okay. Funny, I thought you could handle yourself. Oh, I can. I just also know when it's time to make myself scarce. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Yeah, you are. I, uh... I understand. I don't like it. But I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with all of this.
just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then, uh, then help then me. Help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. Bruce, you look awful. He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vell's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with the DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. Now let's check the Gotham feed. Are you private security raises concerns? Of course it does. Full-blown fascism. The checkpoints have been set up in terms of public safety. Mm-hmm. Say where the new hype will come from, I'm not for sure. Less than 48 hours. Uh, most famous billionaire inmate barely had time to warm up his bunk. He walked up front of the free man, right? Had rested two days after the and copper parts. So. Yeah, alright, that's good. Oswald deserved it. Liberty activists issue a statement called me the new policies of merit slurstic and boarding on fascist. It's also blamed Dan to the rules of the world wide crunch and the mayor's poison squads contribute to growing climate chaos and fear in Gotham. I'm not gonna be better, she deserves to be missing on her. The fuck I'm killing returns to force. Not responsible. Fact, she would have been drugged. Okay, good. She's cleared. Okay. Uh, let's see. The uh, codex. Okay. Uh, thanks for sticking with me. Yeah, my money. Ah, uh, my, my. Shit, my money did help uh, Harvey become mayor. Should've cut him off. Bruce Wayne. So he hates full blown hates Bruce Wayne. So. Alright, should keep that in mind. Keep it oh he's dead. Yeah, Sleen was good. Drew assets. So I'm a smart person. Counter. Just hope she wouldn't help take down the children mark and leader. She'd be a great superhero. She'd be a great hero. Right beside Batman. Uh, Catwoman, yeah. Things, several generations. It's really good bits here. I can handle myself on my own, but Gordon, it was for him. I appreciate it, Gordon. I like him. Always remember Gordon, always stand for what's right. If it was a thought, I knew her. It's gone. She has ceased to exist. Her real name is Victoria Arkham. Hmm. Uh, damn. She fooled me. All the way from the very beginning. Be shit dead. We are going to Vicky. Deep shit. But, uh, the patient. I didn't catch his name. Called John. Hey, yeah, we're a full Batman fan, which I am. You know, that's art. I'm going to start as Joker. Grant. With that, I agree. How I did find invaluable help to track down Vicky. Well, he did, he did help me get me out and did provide some information which I didn't have to, from the very, from the start. So that's good. Uh, that's good to get started on. Um, 
One favor. All right. One small favor. Asylum. Let's down. The night. Thomas about the one was killed by a joke. Shit. Shit. I'm tech. Tech. Always keep the tech. Uh, check. Uh, my DNA. Here's my oh. DNA before the incident. And let's check the drug. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. Create antidote. We could cure match. others affected by the drug. Match the drug. No. I drug wish that was possible. The key image. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. Uh, That's why we were lucky right? to have mine on file already. That's good. Should do it. So this needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman! Trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. Mm. Trustworthy or not, it's the we best have. lead we have. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Shouldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. Bruce! Yeah? Uh, if you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. <laughs>
I'm inside the Vale House. Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed that there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Recent family photo? Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Her eyes are gone. Damn. Stabbed out. That's mm. disturbing. Uh, it's gotta be a connected drug in her. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Let's go deeper. Is this the hair? I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown? Nothing I can see. Clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Let's see. The knife wasn't used. Check out. Okay. Let's check this place. Depends. Holy Alfred shit. found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Uh, company. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. So the knife right here wasn't used as the murder weapon because it's clean. Uh, probably the belt connected with the blood spatter. I thought it was on the wall. It's gotta be it's covered in blood. So this wall. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. The hair. Is it? No, it doesn't look like his. Probably hers. No. no. I can't. Oh, I can't connect this. Uh, probably. Yeah. Probably the hair. W I mean, the knife was used to cut the hair. Cause there's no blood on the knife, so it wasn't using the weapon. And there's as evidence that it was cut forcefully. Let's see. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife. 
but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Hmm. Bring the pieces together. And the company logo, I think I saw it on the photo on the... Which, near the fireplace. So. That, that family photo. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. That's horrific! She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she- Alfred. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that... It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I. I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police? I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't I'm see talking. anything because they're hidden here. Please don't send me- That does help me. Thank you. Get down! Ah. Oh shit. Well, hello, Batman. Is that what else? I'm to see you. I'm Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little bat traps all over the city. But I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out in the open. Ah! Good, uh, he did save me. Good job, kid. Nice work, kid.
They're dead. Yes, they are. But you are not. You are still alive. And those emotions you're feeling, someday you'll learn how to use them, to channel them. You might not understand now, but someday it will make you stronger. I promise I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman, and no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my God. He was the only survivor. Come on, let's get you out of here. He saved me. Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not any more, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. So your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, meet me at the back computer. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get a closer look at you. Check. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Electricity conductor, everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. What else? This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. I'm here. What's up? Take a look at this. God. Someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. I am so sorry, Bruce. If only I'd been at Wayne Enterprises. Maybe there was something I could have done. Oh, what a mess. That sleaze Cobblepot at the heart of it all. I don't blame you. Cut yourself some slack, Lucius. There's no way you could have known. I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. 
Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. But if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to it. Temperature and I'm tired of being on the defensive. Why don't we attack him instead? I'm not sure, but I can certainly see what I can do. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is it? Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. The fuck so you the are. corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the oh, better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You, you can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, Harvey's behavior is unpredictable. Random. Well, hates both of them. Uh, with all his heart. For Bruce. Well, I didn't mess with his girl. Uh, and he was still in really he still cared about her. They're not sure they were in our, still in a relationship. But she's free to see whoever she wants. As for Batman, uh, probably still Probably Harvey still has animosity that I didn't save him on the debate. And, and let half his face be crushed the way it is. And and probably his Batman's fault the way it is. But shit, damn, this is not a win-win situation here. He does hate Bruce the way he does he does hate Bruce more. But he doesn't know I'm Batman. So on a scale I would say I'll go with Batman he has the upper hand. Like uh, it doesn't it uh, uh it's on the lighter side and on as Bru but as Bruce is more heavier heavier. So go ahead, Batman. tonight. Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. Hello? Don't screw this up, Harvey. It was the right thing to do. Yeah, of course. Of course it was the right thing to do. I just can't... I just can't second-guess myself. We need to talk. Oh, Batman. What a surprise to see you on my roof. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? What are you gonna do? You gonna break my legs? Now you're getting quite a reputation around town. You don't just make threats. You back them up. Nah. No, not my style. Well, I guess I should count my blessings then. Ah, funny. Would have thought that this Wayne situation would be a little... beneath you, Batman. After everything Bruce has done, why should I do anything for him? Wayne was your friend. He put his faith in you, supported your campaign. He betrayed me! He lied to my face while sneaking around behind my back! Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Hill and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. 
I'm finally starting to understand. To see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Ready to go. Do it. Drugs destroyed. Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys. The apartment next door. Jesus Christ. She fuck. Oh man, that blast was way bigger than you said. We must have taken out a whole city block with it. We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you, seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. Doing this. You're no better than the children of Arkham. You're worse. No, I'm saving Gotham. I doubt the police would see it that way. The police? Oh, the smart ones already answer to me. Otherwise, well, I think Gordon is already a perfect example of what happens to the not-so-smart ones. Bet he wishes he had just handed over the location of the drug stockpile when I asked. <laughs> What did you say about Gordon? Where is he? Getting what's coming to him. You're so full of big scary talk. If you want to save this city, this is how you have to do it. Tell me where he is. Now! <laughs> You're too late, Batman. By now, he's just another corpse in Crime Alley. Back off of Wayne, huh? <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. Mayor Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's you got are? you brainwashed. No! He's trying to help! The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is... Batman! What a mess. Thank you, Save Batman. Save the thanks and explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs, the location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. Come on. Let's hear it. Calm down, Gordon. Oh, calm down, he says. Two of my own officers were just about to execute me. A whole department of rats, and you're pointing a finger at me. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. Of course. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive, and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Executions and martial law. I know. I always considered him my friend, but he's past saving. There's no world in which he manages to set this right. It needs to be stopped. There's no hope for a rabid dog. We need to lock him up and throw away the key. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is what it's come to. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But we gotta start somewhere. You know your officers, Jim. Take the people you trust and start hobbling Dent's army. Get your precinct back. You make it sound easy. No, it won't be. But if anyone can do it, it's you. You're trusted. 
Yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jim. I'm glad we're on the same side. Lucius, what's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He's somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the bad computer. That's not the worst of it, I'm afraid. Alfred? Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Uh, you know what, but the bat tech is very important. If Penguin gets hold of it and has access to the bat computer, you can do more you do you can do more damage. I need price. to stop Penguin. You go to the bat cave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. Time to take back my car. Signal coming through, Lucius. Looks like it. I'll give you what support I can. But from here in the Batcave, I can only see what you can. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can definitely do that. Just be careful, Bruce. No telling what kind of security he's had installed. CEO. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Does anyone have him? Hey, <laughs> you two black guys. Nice. You, you're all bloody useless! Hey, it's the bad. You're a dead man! Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again. Glow while you can, Cobblepot. I'm taking you down. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's going to get beat by me. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. Been in a few scuffles here and there. Yeah, let's get... That's not happening. You're outmatched here. Give up. Oh, is that what you think? What, because of all those fancy gadgets? You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city, and there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we could control nations. What are you and Lady Arkham planning? Oh, I'm glad you asked. You know, Wayne was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. 
So focused on consumer technology. Oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Neat trick, though. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. How? Oh. Not just for fashion. It's very functional. Face it, Batman. You're outmatched. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy-ear costume. You can't stop us. Watch me. Man, show me what you got. I bring it. My turn. You're pathetic. Butte is almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. A few more minutes, or your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. Huh. Oh, is this how it feels when you put on that suit? I like it! you learned yet? I've shut you down. I'm the one with the toys now, bad. <laughs> this is the start of a new legacy. And I'm afraid you don't have any place in it. It's done, Cobblepot. Your revolution is over. It started with you, and it ends with Lady Arkham. Uh, oh, good luck. You'll never find her in time. Where is she? What is she uh, planning? The message is the same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes. The city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off! Oh, I'm not telling you anything. When she's ready, she'll find you. Yeah, let's knock him out. Fuck it. Bring it. Uh, 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 no, he ain't talking.
What the? Just cut me down, mate. Oh shit, my house is on the flames. Shit. Sorry. Was this really necessary? I mean, what will people say? <laughs> Just tell them Wayne put up a fight. <laughs> Check the results. Agree to old Joker a favor. Mm, so close, 49%. I mean, 49%. Ah. How did it help me? Yes, I could do. Go along with Joker's plan. Choose to follow Joker to fight and make a phone call to get out of Arkham. See, all right, 68%. How did you get past the Enforcer barricade? You went at 51%. Paid off the Enforcer. Mm. It's the right choice. I'm gonna get too angry. The candle doesn't rile me up. How do you deal with Harvey as, as Bruce or Batman? Oh, good. 56%. Me and 56% chose to go as Batman. I'm gonna confront him, Harvey. It's the right choice. Did you stop Har Harvey or Oswald? 54%. Chose to stop Oswald from storing your tech and risk Harvey storing your house. Yeah, at the end, the back tech does help me get the job done. And it's the main component of a Batman. He needs the tech. Uh, it's a smart move. Alright. And Alfred can handle himself. He knows how to shoot and fight. Alright, let's go. Alright. 